All right, so unlike the last death they had, this death is entirely Mizkiff's fault. And so they're leaving because they wanted to leave before they started respawning. And now they realize they're respawning on top of them. And this is all fine. The healer has full mana and they're pulling just one at a time. All they have to do is survive here and they can slowly clear their way out. So what they should do here is just wait. Just execute this mob and then wait and get the other one that respawns on you. Pulling this is okay because it might have pulled anyways because they were like right next to it. But they should be looking behind them because that's where they're going to be respawning. And these are humanoids. This is almost the most dangerous mob you could possibly fight in a cave with high density like this because they run. So he should be getting ready to execute here so that he doesn't run and pull more. So execute now. I don't know why he's just done attacking it, letting it pull more. And so this is when it gets really, really bad. Because now there's like four mobs on them. Because you got the caster that you literally can't do anything to. So Emmy just has to tank that. You got this guy. You got the pat. And you have the guy behind you. So the correct move here is to do what they're doing here and back up and fight this one. Because you need space to drag the caster back, which Emmeru is doing here. And so all this is all right. The real problem comes right after this mob. So you kill that. He actually executed that one for some reason, which you'll see he does do here. He should be taunting. The, the mob already should have been taunted there. It should be pummeling. Massive amount of damage from humanoid casters. The humanoid casters are the strongest mobs in the game. All right, and why? Why are you pulling? The healer is not drinking and not full mana. You need to let the healer drink before you pull more mobs, especially in a dangerous situation. And especially in hardcore. Okay, so what does he do here? So you pull another mob. Okay, and you should be looking to your left and to your right to see if any more are going to pull from, like, pats or something or social aggro. And he's fully zoomed in, so he can't see anything. He's not turning his camera at all. And he chooses to pull another mob when the healer's already less than half mana. And I don't even know if, if Emru has her potion cooldown or not. Okay, now he realizes there's three fucking mobs on him. This is really bad. Now, this would be fine. This would be okay if he was a regular warrior, but he's fucking using one-handed weapons on a warrior. You don't use one-handed weapons on a warrior. You use two-handed weapons. The only time you use dual wielding is in a raid. Every other context, two-handed weapons are better because of sweeping strikes. A regular warrior here just casts sweeping strikes and kills these two mobs, no problem, and then cleans up the caster. But he does no damage because he's dual wielding. Still, though, it would be okay. You gotta execute this mob so he doesn't run and pull more. But he doesn't. Okay, so what you do here, if you miss the executor, if it doesn't kill them or something, is you intercept them so they stop running. So you tar retarget the mob that's running, intercept, and re execute it. And then interrupt the caster and ta or taunt the caster and then interrupt the caster. And then disarm the melee guy that's on you. But he doesn't intercept, so this goes and pulls more. Well, I'll turn up the volume here so you can hear their comms. You sure? Yeah, positive. Back up a little bit. He says... Uh, I mean, we might have to run. We might have yeah. to run. Run, 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 run. He calls to run. You sure? You sure, she says, because she knows you can't run, and you literally cannot run. This is an incredibly deep cave. There's like... 10 mobs almost that you'll pull if you try to run so you literally cannot run the only thing you could do here is fight yeah positive okay and so here it still would be okay this is bad but i think they can handle this you just execute these two mobs you go and you interrupt the casters and you taunt the casters and you okay. clean them up so this would be fine here but he already called the run so emru is trying to run Rather than right just fight these. Stay right here, stay right here. And as soon as you commit to running, you no, die. I don't have, I don't have right? This still would be okay if if Ms. Gift didn't call to run. Mana. I don't have a lot of mana. Okay, just, just run. And, and in the running, Emru is leading and has casters in the back. So Ms. Gift is doing nothing here. He should be like intercepting the casters, interrupting the casters, and trying to 1v2 the casters on his own. And he stays there. Run this, run this, but, run. I mean, she can't run anyways, so, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter what happens, but he could at least do that or lead his way out like this. Because he could try to pull all these and gain enough distance with, like, if he had a potion cooldown with, like, his charge, intercept, 
or just intercept yeah. and a swiftness potion in the front and later on in, in pulling them let's like a few where are you and he's still dual wielding here even though he's no he knows he's not going to kill these things he's just trying to run he should have a shield on getting ready to shield wall which he doesn't have shield wall i'm in the, I'm in the front and at this point they're just they're just dead there's nothing well, they what? can do like the only thing they could do is fight here but Miskiff is not using a whirlwind axe, so he can't kill them fast enough. They're just dead. And as soon as you fear, this guarantees that everything is going to be on you. So considering you still have to run like over 100 yards and there's water, it's like the fear just guarantees your death. And so it's over at this point. There's no point in watching it anymore. All right, ignore this UI. I don't actually play this character, but I wanted to point out the ro warrior rotation because for some reason, Miskiff doesn't know it. I also wanted to point out that the only really big things Emeru did wrong there were play with somebody that has a Lionheart helm in their bags, unequipped and hardcore, just waiting to be deleted. That is idiotic. And also just running, which is something that Miskiff called. But um, the warrior rotation, really simple. Sweeping strikes, mortal strike, whirlwind. I don't know why Miskiff doesn't know this. It's super simple. It's super good. Sweeping strikes. Mortal strike. Whirlwind. And look, they're half dead already. If you still have extra rage after that, you can cleave after that, okay? And then when they get low, you execute them. And if you get dodge, you overpower. See how fast they died? That's because I have a whirlwind axe. It does damage. Sweeping strikes counts as five attacks, okay? This weapon does like 125 damage. Compare that to this. It does like 60 damage. It does like double the damage to a one-hander. And so because it's five attacks and sweeping strikes, that's like, what, 500 or 625 damage from the Whirlwind Axe compared to like 300 damage from the Sword of Serenity or something? Stupid to use dual wielding as a warrior.